What's going on guys? In today's video, we're going to be talking about why people are still moving to North Carolina despite inflation and even higher prices. Let's get into the video. My name is Romolo Melli. I'm a local realtor and the team leader of the Smart Move Group brokered by eXp Realty here in Winston-Salem as well as all the surrounding areas. And the reason that I wanted to bring this video to you guys today is because I'm still getting a lot of people moving to the area and people are wondering if North Carolina or the triad, the Winston-Salem area of North Carolina, if it's a good idea to still move here because we've got high levels of inflation and the prices have increased. So we're gonna attempt to answer those questions for you today. Before we do though, I do have a big favor to ask of you. Uh, you know what time it is. If you don't mind hit that like button leave me a comment but above all subscribe those kinds of things really help me stay motivated to keep pumping out these videos for you i'm also going to leave you a bunch of helpful links in the about section of this video like all of my social media handles the free winston salem relocation guide and even some homes that are currently for sale in the area in case you're interested to seeing what that looks like north carolina for a very long time has been known for its affordability and because of that it's becoming very very popular with people looking for an affordable place to live however in 2023 we're actually filming this here towards the end of 2023, the middle of December, uh, we face high rents, high home prices, high levels of inflation. I mean, even the grocery store buying things, buying groceries was outrageous. And it's definitely made things challenging for everyone, not including just North Carolinians. I will say though, that the Winston-Salem area is generally more affordable than the state as a whole. In addition to its lower housing prices, this area is experiencing growth in terms of jobs, new construction, and local businesses that are boosting our local economy here. But now that this year is coming to a close, let's look look back and see if North Carolina is still a great place to live or a good idea to move to compared to other states in the nation. Of course, let's talk about the cost to rent. Over the past year, the average rent price has risen by 5.45, surpassing the inflation rate for the same period. Nationally speaking, over the past year, the average rent price has increased around 5.45%, which is actually surpassing the inflation rate for that time period. Now, this November, Rent.com did a study and concluded that the average rent price for the entire nation was about $1,978. Now, the good news is that here in North Carolina, the average rent price for that same time period is about $1,600, $1,606 per month. And it gets even better because here in Winston-Salem, our average rent price is about $1,300, which means it's about over 30% cheaper than the national average to rent here in Winston-Salem. So if we're talking about averages to rent, uh, you're definitely going to be in better shape as a whole if you, if you rent in North Carolina and even better if you go to my area specifically, which is the Winston-Salem area. So we spoke about rentals. Now let's talk about purchasing a home. So according to Redfin so far in 2023, the median home price has been around $412,000 for the nation. That is an increase of about 2% from what it was last year. But the surprising part was that there was 300,000 less homes on the market in 2023, which is kind of scary because we are facing a severe lack of inventory right now. And once again, I got a little bit of good news for you because the average home price or the median home price in North Carolina so far this year is about $363,000. So significantly cheaper than the national average. But of course, you know, I'm a big fan of my local area here in the Winston-Salem area, the average home price in the last 12 months was about $295,000. So even significantly cheaper than the North Carolina average and even and significant, and even more so significantly uh, than the national average. And if I can be honest, $295,000 seems like a high average to me. So we must have sold some expensive homes this year, but honestly, I was selling all year long and I was selling homes from two to 250. There were three bedroom, two, two bath, maybe one and a half bathroom. Definitely not you know all the beautiful finishes not the most luxurious finishes in these at all uh, maybe they were a little bit older maybe they were newer just a little bit more basic maybe they were in a neighborhood didn't have a lot of land but you can definitely get a very modest very nice home uh, under 250 in Winston-Salem let's talk about health care costs according to Forbes North Carolina ranked in the top 10 for the cheapest health care costs and the annual cost refers to the combined price of one's insurance premium deductible co-payments co-insurance and out-of-pocket expenses and when it comes to health care needs Winston-Salem has, has been for a long time and continues to be a great place to get all your health care needs covered. Winston-Salem is home to Atrium Health Wake Forest Baptist, which is not only the longest hospital name you've probably ever heard of, but it's also the metro area's largest employer, but it has a great comprehensive cancer facility and a heart and vascular center. It also works with neurology, orthopedics, pediatrics, and of course, primary care. And then Navant Health has a huge presence in Winston-Salem as well. They've got offices all over the place. When it comes to relocating, a strong economy is a major factor. 
factor. North Carolina has a lot to offer with its diverse range of industries. Everything you can imagine from agricultural to fintech. This diversity has helped the state stay resilient through this tough year that we've had. In fact, according to US News and World Report, North Carolina is the 14th best state in terms of economic strength. The state has had an impressive job growth of about 1.2% this year. And of course, talking about economy kind of leads us into the unemployment and the job sector. The national average unemployment rate is about 3.7%, while North Carolina remains at around a 3.4%. North Carolina is predicted to add about 300,000 jobs to the state between 2018 and 2028. We're currently right smack in the middle of that. And specifically here in the Winston-Salem area, we continue to show a lot of strength when it comes to the jo local job economy. The job market continues to improve. And we do have a few exciting things going on in our area. Siemens Mobility is a huge international company and it just broke ground starting a factory here in Lexington, which is really a suburb of Winston-Salem. Also, Javara, a female-owned clinical research company, has opened its doors here in Winston-Salem. We should also mention gas prices. Well, according to AAA, North Carolina is ranked as the 20th cheapest state to buy gas in. And then one of my favorite topics, traffic. Many of the largest cities in the nation are struggling to manage their overpopulation issues, as a lot of times their infrastructure cannot keep up with the rapid growth. Fortunately, all signs point to the fact that North Carolina is adapting very well to its population. And unlike other well-known prominent larger cities, the traffic seems to be not an issue in the Winston-Salem area. We have a beltway that's going to eventually surround Winston-Salem and a large portion of it has already been completed. They're still working on the two other sections that still remain, but that's been a blessing already and I cannot wait till it's completed. Now, honestly, even if before we had that beltway, traffic was not that big of a deal. It feels like Winston-Salem kind of knows that it's growing rapidly, so it's preparing ahead of time instead of waiting till they have an issue and then trying to fund a big freeway beltway project. So overall, yes, no one likes inflation. Home prices are more expensive. Interest rates are insane right now. Hopefully by the time you're watching this, they've come down. But as we sit here at the end of 2023, uh, interest rates are high sixes, low sevens. And all of the hardships that we went through here in North Carolina, the entire nation went through. So, you know, home prices increasing, inflation, all that stuff that we're talking about today, that didn't just happen here in North Carolina, it happened everywhere. And that is the reason why people are still moving here to North Carolina or the Winston-Salem area specifically. And that is the reason why I believe that people are still moving to North Carolina because even though we do have inflation, high interest rates and all these other horrible things, it's happening It's happening evenly across the country. So thank you so much for spending this time with me. If you have any questions, comments or concerns, do not hesitate to reach out. Literally why I make these videos so I can help you. Don't forget about all the awesome links I left in the about section of this video. And I'll see you in the next video.